Now, forget those expensive mining rigs. This tiny device might be the most budget-friendly Bitcoin miner you can get your hands on. This is the Jingle Miner Lottery Mining Device for Bitcoin, sent to us by the awesome friends that we have at JingleMiner.com. And today, I will be showing you how to exactly get this little bad boy up and running to start your shot at a Bitcoin reward. Okay, so for all of you who are sharp eye, if you take a look at the device, you'll see the word Lilygo. So meaning this is a Lilygo T Display S3, as you can see here. <laughs> meaning, if you don't want to use this as a jingle miner anymore, you can flash a new firmware here and you can use this as a hacking device. But what we'll be doing now is we will be flashing the jingle miner firmware here just to update it. And after that, we're going to set it up. So let's start. Now to flash the new or the updated firmware into this one, all you have to do is go to the jingle miner web flasher. I'll be giving you the link down below. But if you go to jingleminer.com, it will be under support web flasher. Okay. All you have to do is have a USB-C cable connected to your computer or laptop. We'll be connecting it. And once you connect it, click the connect button here. Okay, so there's the usual USB JTAG serial debug. Click connect. And now you can choose Jingle Miner Lottery and 300k with trend graph okay then we do start flashing and we wait okay so now that it is finished we're gonna try to set it up and start mining okay now before we start setting this up let's just remove this okay and some quick specification after you have set it up. This has a hash rate of 300 kilo hash per second. Okay, this is a BTC solo. This is being supplied by 3.3 volts. The actual device is a Lilygo T Display e S3 and it is powered by ESP32 S3. The same chip that we have used in some of our DIY hacking device. Okay, now, so let's set it up. Okay, so as you can see here, the first thing we need to set up is, or we, we need to do is to connect to the Wi-Fi SSID jingle miner. And once you have connected to it, this is what it will look like. Okay, now we click configure Wi-Fi. So the SSID, I'll be putting in the SSID later, but public pool that I also that would be the same, and our Bitcoin address. I'll just cut and paste. Okay, so time zone it's okay. Then now let's save it. Okay, so let's analyze the screen. So it has three types of screen. Now this one is the main screen okay so you can see here there is the hash rate this is the number of blocks templates it's trying to solve okay this is the ip address so if you want to reconfigure it connect to the wi-fi of it and go to this ip address using any web browser okay this is the valid blocks so if you have successfully capture the block this is where you will be seeing it okay now to switch screen all you have to do is click this and notice that there will be certain log after you click it but here you will see different types of prices and current coin prices still you still have the hash rate and the current date today now the other one Okay, so this is the next screen. So here you can see the Bitcoin 
trending chart. So this is the price period chart. This is the price change within the 24 hours. Again, your hash rate and the current coin price. Okay, so there it is. The Jingle Miner Lottery device is all set up and taking its shot at a bitcoin block reward and if you are interested in giving this lottery mining a try i left a link at the description down below going to jingleminer.com and come on what do you think about this budget friendly mining device let me know at the comments and always remember keep on hacking my fellow hackista